Hello, you're watching Lila's Lockdown Library. I'm in a new house, so you can see it's a bit different, so welcome back. Today, we're going to read a really nice book of mine called um, Augustus and His Smile by Catherine Rayner. So let's begin. Augustus the tiger was sad. He had lost his smile. So he did a huge tigery stretch and set off to find it. First, he crept under a cluster of bushes found a small shiny beetle, but he couldn't see his smile. Then he climbed to the tops of the tallest trees. He found birds that chirped and called, but he couldn't find his smile. Further and further Augustus searched. He searched the crests of the highest mountains where snow clouds swirled, making frost patterns in the freezing air. He swam to the bottom of the deepest oceans and splashed and splashed with shoals of tiny, shiny fish. He pranced and paraded through the largest desert, making shadow shapes in the sun. Augustus padded further and further through shifting sand until... Pitter, patter, pitter, patter, drip, drop, plop. Augustus danced and raced as raindrops bounced and flew. He splashed through puddles, bigger and deeper. He raced towards a huge silver blue puddle and saw... There, under his nose, his smile. And Augustus realised that his smile would be there whenever he was happy. He only had to swim with the fish or dance in the puddles or climb the mountains and look at the world for happiness was everywhere around him. Augustus was so pleased that he hopped and skipped and jumped away, smiling. So that is the end of Augustus and His Smile by Catherine Rayner. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.